Hello everyone, Jedi Styles here, and today I am showing you two returns on TTMs. And uh, the first one, I'm just going to get right to it. I hope everybody's enjoying their week. Um, the first one came back in eight days. Uh, this was not baseball, this was football. And this was Mr. Don Beebe. Now why Mr. Beebe, you say? Well, I'm a Buffalo fan. And... He was a, a a big contributor, not so much during the regular season, but during when it came to playoff time, he was uh, he excelled in the playoffs basically, and I'll, I'll tell you about that in just a second. He um he he only played in, well I say only, but he played in the league for nine years, mostly with Bills. He played six years for the Buffalo Bills, and uh, he he only finished with. 219 career receptions for three, just just about 300, 3,400 yards, 23 TDs. However, he did play in 14 playoff games. In those 14, well, I say 14 playoff games, he actually only played in 13 of them. He played in 11 playoff games for the Bills and two two playoff games for the Green Bay Packers. And then his last year, which was in, I think, 2001, I think it was, it was, the Green Bay Packers didn't make the playoffs that year, but he did not play in those games. So technically, he only played in 13 games. And in those games, he had uh, 35 receptions, 466 yards, and three touchdowns. So he he played much better in the playoffs. He was more of a third down type of guy. Um, so there it is. It's a nice signature. 82, Don Beebe. And this was... um. He was being traded, or I don't, I don't know if he signed with the Carolina, Carolina Panthers that year. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But um, Mr. Don Beebe, yes. One of, one of the, the highlights that some of you might have already seen is uh, during the Super Bowl against Dallas, the first one, I believe, um, when Leon Lett had the football and was running down the sideline. He celebrated a little bit too early. That guy that came streaking in and stripped him of the ball was Mr. Beebe. So, uh, <laughs> want a little fame for him. All right, so there's, there's the first one. Now, why'd you say this was a... Now, why did I say this was an exciting TTM? Well, it's because of what's in this next package right here. I am super excited to show you guys this. I was stoked, for lack of a better word, to get this one back. This one came back in 15 days. So they're both great returns, 8 days and 15 days. However, I, I mean, I heard people getting this before, but so I said, hey, I'll try it. And uh, it's true, guys. What you heard is true. And Mr. Bobby Witt, Mr. Bobby Witt Jr. But wait, there's some more. The second Bobby Witt Jr., so, yes, I got two of these. I sent three, and I got three signed, which was great. So, Junior signed two of them, and Dad signed one. Dad's got a really nice signature, by the way. That's beautiful. Look at that. Nice and crisp. They're both done in blue ink, and I'll show you uh, Junior's in a minute. But uh, 15 days, yeah. So, they both signed. They're both, um, son stays with Dad, so it's easy. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about Bobby Witt. Um, he played 16 years in the league, so he, he played for quite a while. He, I mean, didn't have a huge career, but he did have 142 career wins as a starting pitcher with a uh, career ERA of 4.83. So, well, a little below average, I guess you could say there. He did have almost, he almost had 2,000 strikeouts in his career, which is actually pretty good. He did of those 16 years. He did play mostly with the Rangers. He played 11 years with the Rangers. His best year was in 1990, which was I think his fourth year. He went 17 and 10 with a 3.36 ERA, so he had a, a really good, decent year. He was not nominated in his career for any awards whatsoever, so he was sort of shut out about that. However, he did lead the league. <laughs> This is a bad stat, but he did lead the league early in his career. In his first three years, he led the league a couple times, and he gave up the most walks. He gave up the most wild pitches, 
And he, and one time he um, gave up the most earned runs <laughs> once in his career. So I, I guess he, he could say he was a league leader a couple times in his career, but that was in his first three years. And in his fourth year, he had his best year, which I just told you about. So he turned things around. And if you look at his stats, he did turn things around after his first three years. Um, and he did better until the, toward the end of his career where, you know, pitchers sort of fade at the end of their career. Um, one interesting fact is, I don't, in his career, he did make over $21 million in salary, so that's a pretty, pretty decent amount. He did make four postseason appearances. He actually is a World Series champ. Uh, he won the, he was part of the Arizona team in 2001 to win the World Series, so he, congratulations to him, he does have a World Series ring. And one other interesting fact about Bobby Witt, he did have 73 career at-bats, and he did have a home run. He had one home run, and that was in 1997. So he had, uh, you know, capabilities of hitting it out of the park. His, his batting average is only at 141. So there is. There's Bobby Witt. All right, Bobby Witt Jr. Of course, everybody knows this by now. He was the second-round pick in 2019 by the Royals. He just turned 20. There's not a whole lot much more about him. He's just, of course, the top prospect. And uh, beautiful singers. There's both of these are on. One's on. Um, this is the 2019 Stars and Stripes. And I'm sorry about the glare, but it is a glossy. Gl and there you can see a signature. This was the retail cards. Not this was a retail. The next one. This was actually a hobby. Um, so 2019 Stars and Stripes. Bobby Witt Jr. Very nice. And, oh, I didn't show you the back, sorry. There's the back. You can see he's on the 18 and under national team there. And then, here's the 2020 Stars and Stripes card. So, I I was comparing both of these signatures. I do have a, a Leaf Metal Flash autograph of Bobby Witt Jr. And it's spot on exactly what you see there. That's That's his signature, without a doubt. So if you don't know, there it is. I mean, that that is his signature because I looked on the other card that I had. Um, so and there's his 2020, once again, 18 under national team. All right. Well, there is my TTM submissions for this week. I got two back, which I'm great. Full four. I'm super excited about those those two right there. That is great. And Dad, of course, and Mr. BB. All right, and there's one more thing. Um, I wanted to show you this. Um, uh, me being a Star Wars fan, it was Father's Day, of course, this past Sunday, and um, I didn't, I did not get any cards from anybody for you know from my family, but my daughter did go in with my wife and everything, and she made me something, and I just wanted to share this with all of you guys. She made, uh, she actually painted something for me. Now I'm gonna pick up the whole tripod and everything, so excuse the thing. Um, she painted this for me which is just incredible so she painted this Boba Fett for me it is absolutely gorgeous she did a really good job on it so I just wanted to share that with you guys that that was my Father's Day gift from my daughter she painted that so there you go I would like you to thank you for watching and putting up with my rambling Please hit that like, share, subscribe button. And uh, leave a comment if you like. And ring that bell if you have not done so the, for my next video. Alright, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll probably be back soon. Talk to you later. Thanks again.